All right, our next guest made history as Israel's first Arab-Israeli transgender model raised on the streets of Nazareth, Talin Abu Hana, spent her formative years fighting an internal war between body and soul, and she credits the state of Israel for her transformation, and we are very happy to have her here with us, and Ori Linkinski talking about an exciting uh, TV show as well, focusing on transgender actresses. Welcome, and you are drop-dead gorgeous. <laughs> Thank gorgeous. you so much. Thank you. What was it like for you, you know, growing up in such a you know closed community in Nazareth I mean when did you realize you know that you were you know not living in your true essence hey I think I born like a girl but uh, it, it was for my family it's a cute and amazing you know a small feminine boy it was absolutely so cute all the time take my picture and when I come to age 14 everything could change and all my family start to tell me act like a man be a man and here I understand that I have a problem you have a problem yes so what was the process like for you to come to terms with you know what you felt you needed to do being you know from a community that is not open-minded to this uh, let alone you know being gay. first I think that I'm sick or something you know but when I come to Tel Aviv and I start to see a lot of people like me and a lot of a woman of choice I don't need to tell uh, to say transgender because I chose to be a woman and I say every time I'm woman of choice right uh, wow. and I understand I'm not sick I have something wrong with my body and I have to fix it and I start to work on it and what was the process like how long was the transformation process itself uh, it, it, it's 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 a little bit long uh, but you know you have to take it the choice first and you have to say okay I'm gonna do this right uh, and I go to Thailand I fly to Thailand I do my surgery and I come back as Talene and, and a supermodel no less so you're <laughs> so you won a competition here in Israel and like second place in a world competition how how did you respond to you know not only uh, being it, a model but also being able to come out with it who was you are? amazing I have to tell you I, before I do my trans my translation I was a dancer a classic uh, belly dancer mm. classic uh, and modern dance and the stage my life you know and when I when I do my translation I, I stop to do it and when I hear about the Miss Trans Israel the first competition in the history in Israel I say okay I'm, I need to go back to the stage and I go there and I win the first Miss Trans Israel wow. 2016. And what's it like to be an Arab Israeli representing Israel I mean you yeah. are a really good you know example of the good that Israel of course does. Of course, we need more, you know, it's a still we need more to be uh, opening and we need to, to learn people how to accept uh, each other. Um, but I think we are in the good way, right. you know. Exactly, and you're going to be, uh, you have some performances here during Israel uh, Tel Aviv Pride Week? Of course, of course, every year I go to the Pride, I think it's... It's a happy day. I, I happy myself. I, I, I enjoy to be who I am. And I every time tell the people, be who you are, love who you are. And if you think no one with you in this world, I tell you, I'm here with you. I love you. I support you. It's really amazing. And to see just how, you know, the world is really just you know stepping up and being supportive of people of all you know of shapes course. sizes because colors the world, it's so big and have a place for and everyone and if we're not each happy then no one can be happy of you course know? of course the life it's so short a life it's a minute uh, if we don't live like we are love to do it's right it's, it doesn't mean anything and, and what you about know? your family are they are you do you have a relationship with them or was this something you had to uh, I know you live in Tel Aviv and my dad not really accept me but my mom's so supporting me and she's so proud of me and all my way and you know now I'm international model I was uh, I do campaign for desigual international uh, market shop and it was amazing and slowly slowly the people start to see that I really can be a girl. I'm, I'm real girl. I am a woman. Mm. Plus beauty queen, plus model. And a spokesperson of, of empowerment and, you know, yeah. and being from a community that yeah. you can inspire others, no matter what it is, other, other women, just to even express their voice of and be course. who they are. Of course. Fantastic.